In this video, we're going to build a chat app with TypeScript and React. The app is going to be feature rich, scalable, and fully TypeScript compatible. The chat app tutorial, the video, is going to be unique too. Here's how. With most chat app tutorials, you have one of two options. Option one, you build the chat app entirely yourself. And while you learn a lot, the app isn't pretty and barely works. Or in situation two, you use a commercial product. And while the chat app will work great, you don't learn all that much about how chat apps really work. In this video series, you'll get the best of both worlds. We will use a lot of shared code so that the app is pretty and works great quickly, but we'll also deep dive into all the shared code that we use so that we'll fully understand everything, we could rebuild everything ourselves, and we're not tethered to a commercial product. This first video will be functional, so we'll learn how all chat apps work and then build one ourselves. Again, in later videos, we will deep dive into all the code so we can fully understand everything. Let's keep this first video short and impactful, and with that, let's get started. The most important thing to know about chat apps is all chat apps are made of the four same parts. They're made of components, a chat server, some application logic, and web sockets. It doesn't matter if this app is Slack, Telegram, WhatsApp, or the chat we're building, all chat apps need these four parts. Simply put, what Chat Engine does is it gives you these four parts to assemble, customize, and rebuild on your own, which is documented here. So in this video, let's implement all four parts, understand why each one matters, then deep dive into each part after so we can fully understand how they work. To start, let's go to this link here that I have in the description of the video and clone the project. Once you've cloned the project, you should see an app which looks like this. Run npm install, then npm run start, which I've already done. And once you do both commands, you should see a project like this in your browser. The first thing we should do is delete all the default code. So go into source app.tsx and delete all this code here in the imports so that we have an empty application. And let's start by implementing the first part, components. Clearly they're needed because our screen is blank, right? We don't have a chat application if we have a blank screen. So let's implement the components so that we can see something to interact with. To start, let's install the shared code that Chat Engine provides us. So in your terminal, run npm install react-chat-engine-advanced. Once this completes, let's import the components which we'll be using. Import squiggly brackets multi chat window from React Chat Engine Advanced. And in your empty div, declare this component with an end tag and set the style with a height of 100 virtual height and click save. Once you have this code, in your browser, you should see the chat components pop back up. So you can see the chat list on the left, the chat feed in the middle, and the chat settings on the right. So now we have something to interact with, but there's a problem. This app is not responsive. If you create a new message, nothing happens. If you create a new chat, nothing happens. There's nowhere to store all this information yet. We need a chat server to store messages and retrieve our chat histories. So let's implement the chat server now. To set up a chat server, go to chatengine.io and then log in or sign up. Once you've logged in or signed up, create a project. In this case, I'll call it TypeScript Chat Tutorial. Once you've created a project, what Chat Engine does is it gives you your very own chat server and address which you can route traffic to. You can see in the website that you can interact with the server, create users, delete chats, create webhooks, everything server side. 
Let's create a few users so that we can authenticate into this chat server. I'll create a user called Adam, give him the password, and I'll create a user named Eve, and I'll give her a password too. Once that's done, let's go back to the project settings, copy the ID, and we'll start routing the traffic to the server as one of those users. So create a const project ID, set it to string, and then give it the value. We'll do the same with username and secret. Once this is done, let's connect the components to the server by using this function. Use multi-chat logic. Then right above the return statement, create a const chat props equal to use multi-chat logic and then pass in the project ID, the username, and the secret. Last but not least, we need to pass these chat props into the chat components click save, and now we have a chat app that is connected to the server. If we create a new chat, you can see the chat actually gets created. And then if we create a new message, you can see the new message actually gets created. And this is awesome, but there's a problem. We need application logic. If we send a message, we need to add it to the bottom of the list. If we create a new chat, we need to add it to the top of the list. We basically need some application logic to manage state and make this app responsive. The good news is that we've already implemented it. So we set up the server so we can route all traffic to the server. And then this use multi-chat logic is the logic which will basically manage state and connect to the server for us. So we've implemented the components, right? We've set up the server and we've implemented the logic to connect the components to the server. But there's a problem. If I send a new message, the application doesn't update accordingly. And if I go into a new browser and I send another message, right, it won't update in the original tab that I have open. There's no way for the server to update the client when new messages come in. This app is not event driven. And that's why we need WebSockets, the fourth and final piece. To implement the WebSockets, import multi-chat socket, and we'll declare it right now. Use the same end tag, and all we have to do is pass in the same chat props, and we're done. Now we have WebSockets that will make this app event-driven. So if I open a new tab, and I say, you know, message one, two, three, not only does it deliver in the read receipts update, but if I go to another tab, you see that it updates here too. So now if you have multiple computers connected to the same chat room, they're gonna be updated dynamically when new messages come into the chat. So now that we've implemented all four parts, the components, the server, the logic, and the sockets, let's deep dive into each one of these four parts so we can fully understand them and rebuild anything ourselves.